Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. So INICET is just two weeks away. In this video, I'm going to share my strategy which worked for me um, back in 2017. I got good ranks and uh, aims as well as BJ exam. I'm going to share my strategy for 15 days. Or if I had to prepare fresh for this, an ex this exam, what would I do in the last 15 days? So um, a few things that I, you know, especially uh, paid my attention. Number one were previous year questions. Bar bar bolta hu mein previous year questions, previous year topics I mean. So what I did in those 15 days is that jo pichle 7 years mein question papers aaye thi, that means 14 exam papers. Har saal do, do bar hota hai. So 14 papers, I read all the previous year topics. Ekdam, first I, I, I gave those 14 papers as an exam like situation. Pura teen gante, ek jaga library mein baat ke, I used to give, the, give, the, give that exam of 300 questions and then read those 300 topics okay by heart I would know the the question the stem of the question all the options what's the correct option what is the wrong option and why you know because those options are close nearby which you often get confused in the exam why how to separate those two options that should be your focus in the last 15 days last 15 days and that's what my focus was us time textbooks se, text se the. I mean review books se the. we used to have those books like Amit Ashish Utna common nahi tha, uh, tab marrow and, and prep ladder right so now you can you can have your own resources marrow prep ladder jo bhi aap, uh, app use karte ho to do the previous year question so that has to be on the top list Bilkul aapka jo to-do list hai na, uske top mein previous year topics hona chahi. Not just questions, previous year topics. Jo dousari cheez mani ki thi apne 15 days mein, ki apne weak areas mujhe, obviously everybody has some weak areas, or everybody knows what those weak areas are. Mani bhi apne identify kar rakhe thai, meri short subjects were weak, right? Especially things like orthopedics, ophthal, psychiatry, forensic medicine, and, and on top of uh, other things, those subjects are given little bit more importance in aims these short subjects, right? Because most of the questions, they'll, they'll come from first and second year subjects and the short subjects. Because medicine, surgery, ka to, medicine, ka to, you can solve a question based on even pharmacology and pathology knowledge and things like that. But a short subject question, it's very difficult to solve on from your basic knowledge, right? Basic science knowledge. But I didn't study, it was my week. Tha. So I read those um, things in the last 15 days. I revised those things in the last 15 days. So that was my second uh, focus. The third focus was that I, during my preparation, I had, uh, you know, uh, stored one-liners in a notebook, jo, which used to be like very important questions, which tip of the tongue. Pe hone this is what the question is. This is what the answer is in the form of a one-liner. I had stored it. So that in, in, in a few days, in a three, four days, you would have all one-liners from all 19 subjects. So that was one, one very important thing that I did. The fourth thing that I did was, that just I bolta in previous videos, maybe my phone had a folder. Just me, mostly two things were there. Either the photos were there, which image-based questions were coming to the work. Okay. Either there were tables and concept maps were there, which either uh, while I was doing preparation, when I was previous year questions, or when I was doing subjects, so I used to click photographs and make uh, and, and and store important tables, important flow charts. So that also helped me that in the last couple of days, I revised those things. So in this way, I had previous previous questions. Kar le the. You know, rep I repeated all 14 papers of the previous seven year, uh, seven year question papers. That means, ek 19 subjects ek review to ho gaya na, important topics. Ka. Second, jo folder bana tha, jo notebooks thi, that had important one-liners, important uh, images, important tables from all 19 subjects again. So this way, I made sure ke that even in the last two weeks, I did a quick revision of important topics and important questions of all 19 subjects. And that is what you need to do. Ye 15 days, mein, whatever it takes, up in 19 subjects ke important topics important questions ko do bar pad lo bahut quickly say obviously you, you you cannot read everything in those 19 subjects you may not be even able to read all 19 subjects for example medicine maine nahi padha tha last 15 days mein surgery maine nahi padha tha last 15 days mein there are big subjects in pharmacology maine nahi padha tha last 15 days mein big subject but you can solve it you can manage those questions ha huh. If your subject, if, if a particular subject is weak, thoda sa attention do. If a particular couple of subjects are weak, give some attention because the fundamental principle is aap ko is exam mein 70 to 80% questions theek karne from every subject. 
ओवरऑल आपके 70 टू 80 परसेंट ऑप्शन अगर करेक्ट हुए ना यूल गेट अ गुड रैंक एंड लास्ट बट नॉट द लीस्ट एग्जाम डे पे क्या एग्जैक्ट मेंटेलिटी होनी चाहिए सबसे पहले आप यू हैव टू ट्रस्ट योर प्रिपरेशन आपने प्रिपरेशन की है ठीक से आपने रिवाइज पढ़ा है रिवाइज किया है सो होप फॉर द बेस्ट ऑल माइटी विल हेल्प यू यू नो टू गेट अ गुड रिजल्ट तो रिजल्ट का तो आप ऊपर वाले पे छोड़ दो आपने मेहनत की है पेपर पे अटेंशन रखो सेकेंड प्लीज अवॉइड सिली मिस्टेक्स एग्जाम में काफ़ी क्वेश्चन होते हैं जिनमें यू गेट कन्फ्यूज बिटवीन ऑप्शन तो आपको अटेंशन पे करना है आपको ध्यान से क्वेश्चन स्टेम ऑप्शन ठीक से पढ़ने सो दैट यू डोंट एंड अप द डे रिग्रेटिंग कि यार ये तो मैंने ऐसे गलत एकदम सिली मिस्टेक कर दिया दैट यू कैन नॉट अफोर्ड डेढ़ लाख कैंडिडेट्स होते हैं आपको एक अच्छी ब्रांच एम्स न्यू डेली में चाहिए ना तो पंद्रह बीस रैंक आनी चाहिए टॉप फिफ्टीन टॉप ट्वेंटी टॉप थर्टी अदरवाइज नहीं मिलती एम्स न्यू डेली में अच्छी ब्रांच जो तीसरी चीज़ आपको करनी चाहिए इज दैट क्वेश्चन जब आप अटैम्प्ट करोगे ना मुझे लगता नहीं इट्स वर्थ कि आप बस वन सेवेंटी क्वेश्चन अटैम्प्ट कर लो पेपर में टू हंड्रेड में से एटलीस्ट वन एटी क्वेश्चन प्रेफरेबली अबाउ वन नाइन्टी क्वेश्चन बिकॉज आप अटैम्प्ट ही कम करोगे तो आपके नंबर भी आपके ठीक ऑप्शंस भी कम ही आने वाले हैं आपके नंबर भी कम ही आने वाले हैं सो ट्राई टू अटैम्प्ट एटलीस्ट वन एट्टी और प्रेफरेबली मोर देन वन नाइन्टी क्वेश्चन दैट्स व्हाट मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल हु गेट सिलेक्टेड डू उन्होंने वन सेवेंटी क्वेश्चन नहीं किए होते वन सिक्सटी क्वेश्चन नहीं किए होते मोस्ट ऑफ दम डू ऑल टू और वन और वन सो दैट्स इंपॉर्टेंट एंड लास्ट बट नॉट द लीज ये जब अगर एग्जाम दे रहे हो ना सो डिफरेंट स्टूडेंट्स के डिफरेंट सीक्वेंस ऑफ क्वेश्चन फाइनल टू हंड्रेड क्वेश्चन सेम होते हैं बट योर सीक्वेंस में भी डिफरेंट फ्रॉम सम समबडी एल्स एंड इट्स क्वाइट पॉसिबल कि आपकी सीक्वेंस में कुछ डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन शुरू में आ गए यू शुड नॉट गेट डिस्करेज यार क्वेश्चन बहुत डिफिकल्ट आ रहे हैं आई एम नॉट एबल टू सॉल्व सो प्लीज ट्रस्ट द एग्जाम एटलीस्ट कुछ क्वेश्चन डिफिकल्ट होने हैं आपके एग्जाम में पहले आए या बाद में आए या बीच में आए सम क्वेश्चन आर डिफिकल्ट यू फील डिफिकल्ट ईजी तो नहीं है एग्जाम Some questions are easy. You will come to know this is an easy question. I can do this. Some questions are intermediate, which means you have to have different options. You have to separate them. You have to have a little brain work. So trust the fact that everybody has the same question paper. Everybody has same strengths, same weaknesses. Trust your preparation and good luck.